Originally from New Zealand, Trish Summerfield is well known as an envoy of Living Values Education or LVE. This is a global not-for-profit initiative that promotes the development of values-based learning communities and places the search for meaning and purpose at the heart of education. Trish started working as a coordinator for Living Values Education in Vietnam in 1999. Together with her associates, Trish started popularizing Living Values Education among teachers through five-day training courses in Vietnam. She also ran Living Values activities for drug rehabilitation, street children and HIV-affected patients in Vietnam. Along with LVE, Trish has developed another educational initiative in Vietnam known as Inner Space Centers. The centers provide free courses and workshops that help Vietnamese people develop their inner strength and achieve genuine happiness amidst the stress of the modern life. Trish has given educational speeches at many workshops in Asia and overseen many successful TV programs about living values in Vietnam. She's also the writer and co-author of popular books such as Soul Prism, Positive Thoughts and Living Value Activities for Drug Rehabilitation. Her motivational work has been highly recognized and supported by UNESCO and the Vietnamese authorities such as the Ministry of Education and Training as well as the Ministry of Labor, War Invalids and Social Affairs. Hello and welcome to Sharing Vietnam. Along with economic growth, Vietnamese people are also facing with many psychological challenges in the modern life. And more and more Vietnamese people are going to courses and workshops on uh, the meaning of life, inner wisdom and peace in order to achieve genuine happiness. Uh, in our program today, we will talk about this topic with Ms. Trish Summerfield, a speaker and advisor at Inner Space Centers here in Vietnam. So hello, Ms. Trish Summerfield. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, first of all, could you share with us the reasons for you to come to Vietnam nearly two decades ago? Well, if I remember back, uh, I always had a lot of love for Asia. And so when the opportunity came up for Vietnam, I thought, let me take it. So that brought me here and I took one year's leave from work. And then after a year, I felt, well, I really love it. And the program was developing, so I chose to stay on. As far as I know, your first work in Vietnam was to help drug addicts in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, could you uh, tell us about this experience? You know, uh, it was a very special. It continues to you know, hold very special memories from me because I could see it was a time where a lot, so many of Vietnamese young, innocent people were just falling into this drug of heroin, often with you know, no kind of understanding of what it was going to do to their life and the lives of their family. So it was, of course, very sad on many levels to see them. But it was also an amazing time because I saw the people, the educators in the drug centers, they were so committed to helping these young people. And I was also learning how to uh, adjust the program for drug rehab. So it was a beautiful time for me. And um, during the training, because the, the training really works to bring out the inner values. So we saw the young people um, come from, you know, often quite depressed or heavy kind of atmospheres within themselves to bring out their very positive, happy values, particularly through the activities. Living values, not so much lecture, but it's much more interactive and activities. So we saw a lot of smiles and heard a lot of special experiences. So for me, it was a, a really big honor mm -hmm. to be involved in that. And because it was so successful, um, the government asked us to write a program, especially for drug rehab. And so we developed a book, 108 Lessons for Drug Rehab, which is used now in other countries around the world. And our program since 2014, Living Values has been an official subject in the government drug rehabilitation centers and the private centers. Wonderful. Yeah, yes. so it, it, it was a special experience. Yes. And from that experience, you moved on to set up inner space centers in Vietnam. So uh, what were your motivation and vision? because we felt that Living Values is very good for 
educators, for students, for people in drug rehab, but then there was also a very big percentage of the community that weren't in that category. There were business people, housewives, you know, and um, just general public, and we felt that this program in a space could be very useful for them in their lives, and we could see that, you know, stress was starting to come in and, and challenges were starting to come in as the economy was developing and so this would be a program that would support people with those stresses and challenges. In the middle of June, Trish Summerfield addressed a workshop entitled Assessing Inner Wisdom Through Silence at Inner Space Center in Hanoi. The workshop was aimed to provide participants with the tools to approach their own good sense and make mindful decisions amid constant and numerous distractions in everyday life. The participants enjoyed experiential exercises to explore the good values of human beings and connect with other people in peace and harmony. Những điều, những cái thời gian mà em dành tối nay thì quá quá là hữu ích và quá là có giá trị đối với em. Giúp em thực sự mình khi mình nhận nhìn nhận vấn đề bằng một ở một góc độ khác và nhìn sâu vào trong cái tâm trí của mình thì mình cảm thấy là minh bạch mọi thứ và mình cảm thấy là cuộc sống của mình nó không đến mức nặng nề như thế và mình có cách để mình giải quyết nó. Mọi thứ đều có thể trở trở nên dễ dàng hơn khi mình nhìn thấy cái sự thông thái từ bên trong nội tâm. The gathering is one of many inner strength development workshops and courses offered at inner space centers every month. Trish and her first students in Vietnam set up the first inner space center at a small house in Ho Chi Minh City in the early 2000s. Since then, two more centers have been opened in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. The existence and expansion of the centers totally results from the enthusiastic volunteering contributions of inner space students who have benefited from the mind and soul enhancement activities here. Em rất ấn tượng bởi lần đầu tiên mà em tham gia tại Inner Space là lớp học chiến thắng giận dữ. Um, và À, lớp học đã dạy cho em cách à, suy nghĩ khác đi trong cuộc sống để à, tìm ra được những cái à, để tìm ra được những điều tích cực hơn trong cuộc sống. So what are some major topics of knowledge offered here at Inner Space? You know, we have a really wide range of topics that are all really working at building inner strength so that we can manage the challenges around us. So we have uh, inner leadership, for example, one day seminar, where it's looking at how to lead from the inside out. And we have managing anger, managing stress, self-awareness. Uh, we have programs for women, building self-esteem. And we have programs to manage fear. So we have like a really wide range. You have challenge and inner strength. And if the inner strength is low, then the challenge becomes much more. But if we build the inner strength, mm. you know, the challenge is not gone away, but the impact will be much less. So we're saying right now the world is challenging. That is the reality. We can't run away from it. We have to live in it. But if we build our inner strength, mm. then we will be able to respond as effectively as possible to it. Could you tell us about the scientific basis uh, for the courses and workshops here? You know, what, um, what I learned quite a few years ago is a very important aspect of the brain. And um, when I was working in education, you know, there's a lot of focus on, yes, we have to put more knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge. But there was very little time and attention given to the emotional state of the child. And, you know, even in New Zealand when I was working, we often had children coming to school from very stressful environments. So they enter the classroom, the teacher may be very skilled at, at delivering knowledge, but if the child is in a state of stress, fear, worry, anxiety, they simply can't receive that information. They can't receive it. The brain shuts down in the sense that the pathways are blocked and that information can't enter. So we understand that it's very, very essential to manage our emotions if we want to be effective in learning. 
if we want to retrieve information from our memory. You know how many people <laughs> stand up in public and go to speak and they just forget everything inside because they feel anxious at that time. And I mean, that's happened to me in the early years. So what happened? The information's all there, but it's blocked. I could have studied in Harvard or wherever, but it doesn't matter at that time. The information's blocked. It won't travel from my memory to my conscious mind, so I can't access it. So I think uh, for us, the courses here are really working at helping us to be effective in creating very positive feelings and managing negative emotions so that we can uh, absorb knowledge, we can respond in the best possible way. Mm. Otherwise, sometimes you work with people that have so many skills but get so stressed that they can't access them or so angry that they respond in a way that they re regret for years, you know? Well, as far as I know, there is an emerging trend in which Vietnamese people are increasingly uh, keen on uh, attending uh, mind and soul enhancement or uh, inner strength development courses and workshops. So what is your observation? What I think, you know, when, when people, um, often when economies are developing, from my perspective, I think we can put all our eggs in that and think that that's going to be the answer to everything. And as we get more and more money, we realize that it doesn't always equate to more happiness. Yes, it helps, but it doesn't always mean that I have better relationships. And sometimes in all my efforts to work, to get the money, my relationships actually reduced or the quality of them reduced. So I think that's one aspect. But also um, the way that media is and advertising, we also promote that image that when you have a lot of money, you have happiness. And when you start to get there and you feel that, well, that, that's not true, then you also, I think people look for more meaning in life. Is life just about going to work? Of course, work is valuable and, and all of that, and there's a lot of um, satisfaction, but is that all it's about? work and family? Is there something more to life? So I think people start to ask those questions and as part of asking that they also start to look inside and, and explore ideas that come up for, from their inner self. Could you just give us one of your most memorable uh, story mm -hmm. of someone who yeah. has changed his or her life after yeah. the courses? Yeah. We had a session on letting go and it's one of my favorite seminars to do because I work with a lot of people that have been holding resentment or sorrow for years and years and I know it really hurts them. And um, as we began the seminar, one man was describing, perhaps he was about 50 years old, three situations with three different people and, and very good argument for not forgiving them. We said, okay, that's fine, we accept that. But then, um, as we went through the program, we shared the tools, we talked about the benefits, and we did an experiment. Then he said, wow, I feel so different. I feel like a release. I let go of 50% of that, and he had been holding on to it for a very long time. So when I hear that, that really um, touches me, because I know that that will affect his life. And it's not us, we're just providing the place and an atmosphere and the tools. It's people that are choosing to use them and it makes a very big change in their life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Miss Tris Summerfield, thank you so much for spending your time and sharing uh, very meaningful stories with us today. Well, that's all for our Sharing Vietnam today. Hopefully, the work of Inner Space and Ms. Trish Summerfield will uh, be further expanded uh, to bring more and more uh, happiness to people here in Vietnam. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next time. <laughs>